Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alan here, and we're uh, bringing you another gaming PC build. Uh, this is the first one of 2015, so uh, stay tuned. It's going to be a $1,000 build. So uh, jumping right into it, we're going for the Intel Core i5-4690K for the CPU. It's a 3.5 GHz and it's a quad-core processor. Now this comes in at $220, so it's a bit pricey, but it is the best gaming processor on the market right now, so you can't really go wrong. So moving on then to the CPU cooler, we went with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVO. Now this is a great value cooler. It comes in at $37, just about and uh, it'll keep your CPU really really cool and nice and quiet it's much better than the stock uh, CPU cooler um, and for this value you can't really get much better um, so yeah definitely if you want to get your CPU up to about 4 GHz 4.2 GHz maybe uh, this will do you well for that uh, moving on to the motherboard then we have the MSI Z97S SLI Plus motherboard uh, this comes in at $110, uh, a bit pricey again, but it comes packed full of features that you would want in a high-end rig, so if you want to upgrade down the line, you'll be able to. For example, it supports SLI and Crossfire, so if you want to get a second graphics card down the line, you'll be able to do so without upgrading the motherboard, great feature. Definitely a very good motherboard to go for, and MSI are a very good motherboard uh, manufacturer, so definitely worthwhile to go for that. Moving on then we go to the memory which is the Crucial Ballistic Sport 8 GB of RAM 1600 MHz. Of course 8 gigs is a necessity nowadays and I went for a Crucial Ballistic Sport because 70 uh, sorry $77 is not too bad for uh, 8 gigs of RAM at this point. So RAM prices are starting to drop so that's always good to see but 8 gigs a necessity for a $1000 bill. So there we go and I'd actually argue 8 gigs necessity for pretty much all bills where you can fit it in at all possible. So yeah moving on to storage then we went to a uh, western digital caviar blue one terabyte it's a 7200 rpm uh hard drive so it comes in at uh, 59 dollars so you know uh well, you get what you pay for basically just one terabyte of storage pretty good reasonable price and very fast so definitely should suit you up suit you for that now uh, there's not going to be an ssd in this build granted they have been dropping in price recently but it would push us over budget a little bit with an SSD, so we'll forego that for now, but that's always possible to upgrade in the, within a year or two if you get more money. It's well within the range. Now for the video card, we actually went for the EVGA GeForce GTX 970 at 4GB uh, with the ACX 2.0 cooling. And this comes in at $329.99. Now originally I would have loved to put in the MSI um, version of this, as so because I think it looks better myself but uh, that came in at $20 more and granted this build co currently comes under budget but still it gives you more room later down the line if you want flexibility or to add some fans etc so uh, we went with this one but you could switch it out for the MSI version or another version if you can fit it into the budget that's up to you but this card is amazing anyway it's super quiet it's, uh, it's very overclockable and uh, yeah EVGA, they're a very reputable company as well, so definitely worthwhile there. And uh, for this price, you're getting like extreme power, like it's faster than a, 7, a GTX 780, almost as fast as a GTX 780 Ti. And for this price, like you can't go wrong, you know. So, moving on then to the case, we went for the NZ XT S340 white ATX mid tower case. This comes in at $65 now. Case is our personal preference, as I mentioned before, so you might not like the look of this case and feel free to change it around for something similar price but personally I love this case NZXT make lovely looking cases and uh, I would have loved to be able to fit in an NZXT H440 or maybe a Fractal Design um, or 5 uh, but uh, they both were slightly too expensive to fit into the budget but this this case itself it still looks fantastic and has all the features you need you know it looks great, a great uh, sleek design, loads of room for cable management at the back and uh, a lovely big window so you can see all your lovely components so definitely definitely the way to go in my opinion but again cases are subjective, choose something else if you don't like this one but that's what I'm suggesting for this build anyway and then lastly we have the power supply, nothing special here just a Corsair CX 600 watt semi modular 80 plus, 80 plus bronze certified and it comes in at $75 so 
that'll power up your system. It's a reputable power supply, of course, they make great ones. And uh, 600 watts is more than enough for this system, even for heavy overclocking. So you should be good to go. So the total comes in at uh, $972.69. So under budget by just uh, under 30 euro, about 27 euro something, uh, or dollars, sorry, what am I saying? $972.69. So it comes under budget by about uh, $27 something. So that's pretty good. Now, if you take into account the mail and rebates that are actually on the system, you actually um, get the price at $930.67, so that's pretty good too, but prices are subject to change, and especially mail and rebates, they're only limited offers, so that is going to change more, more often, so um, I figured it's best just to include the base total in these kind of bills at all if at all possible so uh, like I said 972 dollars or 973 if you want to round it up it's pretty good value for a thousand dollar bill and the amount of power you're gonna get out of this it'll max out pretty much every game at 1080p and probably at 1440p you'll be able to run games at very high settings and still get above 60 so a uh, very good build and for the money you're getting loads so uh, yeah that's my $1,000 build hopefully you liked it Please leave some feedback in the comments and have a great day. Thanks for watching. So guys, this brings us to the end of yet another video. Hopefully you liked it. Thanks so much for watching. If you did like it, please uh, give me the thumbs up. If you disliked it, give me the thumbs down. Leave some uh, feedback in the comment section as well. If you want to see some more content, please remember to subscribe. And uh, that really helps me out, so it means a lot if you do. Remember to have a great rest of your day, guys. And uh, yeah, until next time.